Today we're going to look at how to put on a climbing harness correctly and make sure it's well fitted. So to start with, whatever harness you've got, they all basically have the same same things to them. They've got a waistband, leg loops, and then a belay loop of some sort. So to start with, loosen off all buckles, make sure that all webbing is, is nice and loose. Make sure there are no twists in it, especially in the belay loop here, or you haven't got a leg loop twisted around or anything. So once you've got your harness all set up, belay loop at the front, put your feet through the harness and leg loops. One of the key things here is to make sure that the waistband is done up first and the position of the waistband is also important so you're aiming to have the top of your harness or the top of the belay loop in line with your tummy button and then as you tighten it make sure it is nice and tight and snug. Um, the reason for this is if you were for instance to invert upside down in your harness you want to make sure that the harness is high enough and set high enough above the hips that should you go upside down you're not going to slip out of your harness so women tend to have a slightly higher advantage in that we've got wider hip bones so that it's easier for us to get a snugger fit and know that our hip bones are basically going to secure us if the harness were to push downwards um, men you've got a slightly harder problem because your hips are more in line with your waist so you do really need to make sure that it is up by your tummy button and it is tight enough a good test at this point is just grab hold of the harness and really try and push down and wriggle yourself out and if you feel like you're going to come out of the harness or it's going to slip off then it needs to be done up tighter. Second thing is any any excess webbing that you've got is to make sure that it's tucked back so if you've got a harness where it requires you to double back your webbing then make sure that's double backed but always make sure excess is tucked out of the way usually secured in elastic somewhere around the harness. If you've got these quick release, quick ziplock buckles, it's super important to make sure that this webbing is tucked backwards because that helps keep that buckle nice and securely shut. So in the instance that it was left hanging, if you were to catch it just on your way down, it doesn't take much to actually open up that buckle. Um, so you do have a, a slight safety issue there. So tuck back the webbing. So once you've got your harness nice and seated correctly up by your tummy button and also nice and tight, then it's time to focus on the other parts, i.e. your leg loops. So my one for instance, it's already elasticated so it just, it is as it is, there's no adjustability to it. But a lot of harnesses come with adjustable leg loops. Um, do make sure that they're, they're snug but they're not overly tight. They don't need to be as tight as say the waistband because well you've got a femoral artery down here for starters, you don't want to cut that off. Um, but the more you tighten the leg loops, sometimes the more it actually pulls down on the harness and pulls it away from the waist and the tummy button there. So they don't need to be too tight, but snug. Uh, and then lastly, usually straps around the back, you can just pull those tight just to keep the, the leg loops at the back nice and secure. Um, so when you do sit back in your harness for whatever reason, leg loops aren't going to just suddenly drop off the back. And finally, you probably would have done this already, but do make sure that whatever you're going to be wearing while you're climbing is tucked into your harness. Having all your clothing tucked in means that you have easy access to the gear loops and also when you're doing your buddy checks with your partner, they can clearly and quickly see that your harness is or isn't correctly fitted. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you've got any questions, drop us a comment in the comment section below. If you're unsure about anything, it's always best to get the help of a, a professional, so do, do try and hire a, a mountain instructor. Um, we do do other videos and tutorials, so if you're looking for more how-to videos with climbing, then go check those out. And we also do our own personal vlogs as well when we're out climbing, so check those out again. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.